So this is just a bit of an update regarding where I am on the battery management system project. I have redesigned the boards. They are now smaller and much more neat. But they're still to arrive yet, so we won't be seeing those for a while. And they're all fully designed and everything. Once they arrive, I'll get them assembled. That will be the final prototype run. And then I'll send off yet another order. And then those will be the final products, which I will then sell. So in the meantime, what I'm designing just now is the companion board to which all of the individual modules will connect to allow uh, high voltage and low voltage cutoff. So when any module sends out a warning signal, uh, this button here is just pretending to be a module, uh, one of the balance modules. Uh, this LED here, we can just pretend as a relay. Once it sends out a warning signal, the LED goes off for about a minute. And the issue I'm having is when you first apply power to the main board, it takes a minute for the LED to come on when first powered up which is no use really if you're using the product in an electric car or bike or something like that. Um, and the issue is to do with this timing capacitor here. It takes quite a while to charge up. So if we just discharge it, I'll try to anyway, um, it would have taken about a minute for that to, to come on. So basically I'm just going to try and find a way so that capacitor charges up once when the power is applied so we don't have to wait a minute for this LED to come on and I'm a bit stuck on how to do that so for this battery management system at least it's built to be as robust and as reliable as possible that's why I'm not using any microcontrollers in it because my experience with microcontrollers is uh, they can very rarely crash and just hang for no reason. Analog electronics don't do that. Analog electronics only fail if they are they suffer some sort of uh, physical damage or maybe very severe electrostatic discharge, or they just wear out due to old age. Uh, they don't crash. And I'm also using tantalum and ceramic capacitors throughout because electrolytic ones tend to fail after quite a few years and tantalums last far longer but I don't think it's going to make the cost too high as uh, I think there's only going to be two tantalum capacitors uh, in the whole thing so it's hopefully going to be a very affordable system but I cannot say for certain uh, just yet price wise I'll be looking to sell the each individual balance board for about maybe seven, eight pounds each. The companion board, uh, what I'm designing here, we don't know how much that's going to be, but probably about the same price. Uh, I will be making yet another companion board for much higher voltage batteries. The one I'm designing just now will be for like batteries up to about uh, 36 volts. If you want to use it on a 100 volt battery, I'm going to design a companion board which basically has a flyback converter in it. So you could put 100 volts into it if you want and it'll still work. But I'll need to design my own flyback converter and I have in fact ordered some mini flyback transformers just like this one here. So I'll design my own switching circuit so the system can be used on higher voltage battery banks uh, but just now I'm just going to cater to the lower voltage ones um, so if you want to buy this <coughs> product uh, you just have to buy the balancer modules and figure out uh, yourself what you want to connect them to until I've designed the higher voltage uh, companion board <laughs>